The latest innovations in digital health, transportation, and the metaverse are just a few of the technological breakthroughs on display at the CES 2023 Consumer Electronics Show. This year's theme is technology helping to address the world's greatest challenges. We've partnered with a UN-affiliated group, the World Academy of Arts and Sciences, to showcase how technology is supporting what we call human securities, or human rights. Examples include food security, access to food, um, environmental security, so sustainability, um, mobility is a category we act actually added, political security is another one. Show organizers expect increased focus on the metaverse, a shared digital reality connecting users, and on Web3 or Web3.0, which proponents describe as the third generation of the World Wide Web. We've actually partnered with Coindesk, a new site specializing in Bitcoin and digital currencies, to build a studio um, in, you know, on the show floor to showcase these types of Web3 applications. From the internet highway to the interstate, automobiles have always had a major presence here, with more than 300 auto industry exhibitors showing off their latest products. Organizers say there's also growth in marine technology, with more and more boat manufacturers moving towards sustainable forms of energy. The battery-operated Waste Shark is an autonomous surface vessel designed to remove algae, biomass, and floating pollution such as plastics from lakes, ponds, and other coastal waterways. Waste Shark will be present at the show with a newer model, the Mega Shark, slated to debut later in the year. There's a lot of people doing really great stuff out of the ocean and cleaning that up. Our mandate for our company is to clean it before it goes into the ocean and makes absolute, that makes it worse. So we're trying to sort of what we call capture that waste at source before, before it pollutes the, the ocean. In digital health, the show will include products for people with visual impairments, such as age-related macular degeneration, also known as AMD. What a person with AMD, as an example, would see is when they're looking at your face, your face wouldn't have any features. It would just be sort of flesh tone. As seen in the simulation. Now you put the device on, and just without any manipulation, you might be able to see, oh, there's some eyebrows, or there's a mouth, there's some eyes. And as the simulation shows, as you zoom in, it literally shrinks away. So, and that's one of the things that's really important from a facial recognition perspective, because so much of communication is that seeing the reaction. Representing the best of global technology, with nearly one-third of its exhibitors from outside the U.S., CES 2023 will also focus on sustainability with cleaner, more energy efficient products for the home and workplace. Julie Tabo, VOA News.